I'm Robin Clevett. Welcome to my channel. Now I just want to do a quick video because I'm doing a job at the moment around my front doors where I'm actually bonding back these real stone panels which will effectively give me a dry stone effect wall. So what I want to do is show you how I'm going to go about cutting all of these. I've only got two bags of adhesive that were supplied with them so what I don't want to do is mix the adhesive up and then start cutting. I want to have everything cut from top to bottom. Everyone's got to be cut apart from the middle ones because I've got to knock off where they lock together. So what I've done is I've created my reveals nice and parallel here. I've just got some blocks here which were just spacing them while they were bonding back and slid in behind the door frame. So I've measured the distance between and I've made a frame for the panels to slide in so I can cut them off. I'll show you how I did it. So I've got a piece of OSB and I fixed this to a big drum, an old cable drum, which is really heavy, so it's nice and secure. And this is an off cut of one I've already cut, so it's got a nice straight end on it. Now I'm sliding this in between these two battens and I'm lining it up with this small piece of angle iron there. Now the angle iron at either end represents the panel width from top to bottom. And so the next job is once I've got a square end in, I can slot my next two panels in. Now you can see here that this panel's got some snots in it, just here, which is stopping it going up. So actually I have to start doing a little bit of chipping carefully and squaring those up, making sure they sit together nice and true. There we go, line that up. Now this is where I'm doing the cut. So I'll slide a panel in. Here we go. And now I'm gonna cut alongside this rail on this end. I'm gonna use a petrol cutter with a multi-purpose diamond disc. And I'm gonna use some water as well, just to keep the dust down. Once they've been cut, I'm gonna hose them off with water to take off the residue and the dust and then stack them in courses. So when I put them on, what I have to do is take a course at a time and lay them. So here, I'm gonna just cut this one now. And there we have a nice cut. That will start my next course off. And away we go. So I've got a whole course done there. That will get washed, stacked, dried off, ready to be laid. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was just a little tip I thought I'd share with you. And the reason for it is because I've looked at every kind of tile cutter. I've looked at bridge cutters, brick cutters. And actually using this method has saved me the hire of one of them or buying one of those. And that's another thing to look after and keep and that was it. All of those panels were easily glued on and I had a little help from the team. Thanks very much for watching. Check back soon.